What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another video for y'all, man. If this is your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button ASAP. For those that are already subscribed, I appreciate y'all. What I got going on today is I'm about to work on my homeboy's SUV. He has a 2006 Chevy Trailblazer, and his headlights are severely oxidized and faded. So we're going to get these things uh, restored back to like new condition and uh, he should be able to see at night again. I mean, he still can see at night, but you know you know what I mean. When those headlights get faded or oxidized, the light output gets drastically reduced. So instead of purchasing a new set of headlights, we're just gonna restore them. So sit back, enjoy, and we're gonna get this thing going. course i got my watchdog watching over me while i'm doing this but real quick before we get this thing started i'm just going to show you guys what i use to um restore these headlights i'm pretty sure there's plenty of videos you can search on youtube to get this thing done um i'm going to show you guys the process that i go about uh first things first i'm gonna show you guys the condition of these headlights y'all see all that oxidation and these are just yeah these are just in bad condition like <laughs> that's not dirt it's not dirt at all that's oxidation fading the clear coat is peeling um a lot of times you know you can get these headlights restored to like new but if this is if the oxidation or the peeling is happening on the inside of the lens uh you may have to take the headlight lens apart and restore the inside as well um, a lot of people don't like doing that just because they don't want to break open the uh, headlight but that is an option um, but even if you just get the exterior done if the interior is, is is faded a little bit i mean it's still going to look night and day different but if you really want these things to look like new and it's fading on the inside you definitely want to um, consider taking these apart and restoring the inside as well so but that's his headlights. You see, that that is that is bad. That is years and years and years of fading and you know Florida sun beating these things up. So, but real quick, um, what I'm gonna start off with is by wet sanding these. We're gonna wet sand these things down. I have a um, I'm gonna start off with a 600 grit then move up to a thousand grit and then a 2000 grit um, sandpaper. And we're gonna wet sand these with uh, just water and dish soap, um, just to keep these things lubricated while we're sanding. And then after that, we're gonna spray these things down with a water and alcohol solution, just to get these things as dry, uh, not necessarily dry, but um, get any oils or residue that was left over with the during the wet sanding process, get all that stuff off to get these prepped for polishing. So we're going to do a three step polish on these. We're going to uh, start off with a wool pad. I'm going to use the the uh, um, holy crap, I was about to say detail garage, but um, chemical guys V38. We're going to start off with that, which is a believe their most aggressive compound that they offer don't quote me on that but this compound would definitely do it and then we're going to step it down to an orange pad with their v36 and then we're going to finish it with the v32 finish it off nicely and those things should be nice and crystal clear again and to finish it off you have two options you can either use a sealant to seal these things uh, in and a sealant would generally give you a good I'm gonna say year of protection before they're subject to you know the elements out from uh, the Sun and just chemicals or anything like that that could cause them to start oxidizing again but we're not gonna just seal them with a sealer we're gonna actually ceramic coat them with uh, C-Quartz UK 3.0 to give them years and years and years of protection so all right let's get this thing going all right got these things in the bathtub just a quick note um you do not have to take these headlights off your vehicle to get this job done if you're going to do these on the vehicle make sure you mask off any areas that you could potentially hit 
um, the paint with um, when you start sanding these things down. You don't want to damage your paint in the process of doing this. But if you have the ability to take the headlights off and it's an easy process, like on his Trailblazer, it's real easy. It's just a couple of screws and you can pop them right off. No bumper removal, nothing like that in order to get these things out. Um, it just makes the process easier to get it done off the vehicle. So we're gonna get these things started um, real quick because it's gonna be hard for me to hold the camera and do this thing at the same time. You wanna get these headlights wet with the soap. You don't have to go crazy and wet the entire housing. Um, you just wanna get the areas that you want to hit with the um, sanding paper wet with the soapy water and start sanding. And you want to primarily sand everything in one direction. If you're gonna switch it up, just keep sanding in one direction or horizontally or vertically. You don't wanna go into circular motions just because it just it's gonna make it that much harder for you to buff out those uh, um, scratches in the polishing process. So let's get this thing going. I'm gonna show you guys right now, I'm doing it with the uh, 600 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna show you guys um, step by step. All right, so the first step is done with the uh, 600 grit. We're gonna get these things uh, rinsed off. And you can already see the difference. Um, once these things dry, they're definitely gonna look hazy, as you can see right there. So we're gonna definitely go to the second step and get off, try to get these uh, wet sanding marks a much finer so it's easier for you to polish them out in the end. I'll show you guys what it was. That's what this left side looked like. Well, it's actually the right side and like, so here we go with the second step with the uh, thousand grit sandpaper. Right. All right, that was the uh, second step with the uh, thousand grit. I already rinsed them off. It's already starting to look good. You want to even, even haze on those. That will let you know. You definitely want to inspect them to see if you missed any spots. Um, you will definitely know if you missed a spot, especially once it starts drying. But you want to even haze on those before you start uh, polishing. Um, just a quick note. While you're wet sanding, make sure you stay, it stays lubricated. Do not allow it to dry because it's definitely gonna gouge up your plastic um, really bad. So keep your um, wet sandpaper wet as much, you know, as wet as you want it to be. Um, just make sure it stays lubricated. And you wanna do it for about, I'm gonna say a good minute. Sand everything for a good minute. That should be good enough but just inspect your work after rinsing to make sure you uh, got everything off. Um, mainly you wanna do this on the first step because that's the most aggressive portion. Um, as long as you got everything on the first step, the rest is gonna be uh, much simpler. Um, you're pretty much just finding out those um, wet sanding marks. So we're gonna go on to the third step, which is going to be the 2000 grit. And this is actually, you know, this is not a super time consuming process. I think the most time consuming part is probably taking the headlights off the vehicle or um, I'm gonna say the polishing part is probably the most time consuming, even though it's not that long, especially if you have a, a dual action polisher and the uh, right compounds and pads, the process is fairly quick. So you can expect to do both headlights, I'm gonna say within an hour. So depending on the condition, depending on the condition. So let's get this final process going on this head, on this set and then we're gonna start tackle the next set. All right, that was the third step. I already rinsed these things off and that's the results we have so far after wet sanding. And you can already see it's a tremendous difference compared to what these things look like. Excuse me, excuse the fact that I'm in the bathroom doing this, but 
wanted to get these things done in the bathtub just so it's easier to clean up my mess because these things can sling some dirt i don't know if you guys can see that that's literally the dirt that was slinging off and the oxidation that was slinging off of these as i was sanding them so now it's time to tackle the other side and then get these things dried off all right as y'all can see they are all wet sanded all of the oxidation is gone so now it's time for a quick alcohol wipe down and then to the uh, polishing step. Has never happened to me before in the middle of me polishing the uh the velcro <laughs> for my pad decided to uh come apart on me so in order for me to get this thing done uh, with a more aggressive approach with an extreme compound i'm going to use a yellow pad so let's get this yellow pad a microfiber extreme cutting discs um, that's actually gonna do much better a much better job than the yellow cutting pad the yellow cutting pad will get it done um, but this is gonna cut through those uh, fine scratches a lot faster so I'm gonna start off with that then um, take it to the second step with the uh, orange pad and then the black finisher pad so let's get it going With just one pass of the extreme compound as y'all can see there's still a lot of haze left over but you can already start to see the headlights coming back to life it's a drastic difference from what they were before <clears throat> so just a couple more passes before we get to the uh, second step and the final finish First step, we got majority of the wet sanding marks out. One thing to note, these headlights are really old and they have a lot of like spider webbing and really deep rock chip marks and stuff like that on there. Um, that could be restored if you really go heavy on the wet sanding, but we're mainly focusing on the oxidation and fading uh, today. So. Pretty much all the oxidation is, well not pretty much, all the oxidation is gone. So when we were able to get out all of the uh, wet sanding marks um, using the light as a reference, right now all you see is hazing for the most part. The only thing that still bothers me is this little area, but um, if, uh, if he wants to really get that done, we're gonna have to go heavy on the, extremely heavy on the sanding um, to get that out, but for now, we're just trying to restore these to light new and they look night and day. So that's just the first step. We got a second step to go with a finer polish just to get the clarity uh, and gloss back a little, little better than what it is right now. And then we're gonna do a final polish, but that's what they were after wet sanding. And that's where we are after the first step of polishing with a heavy compound. And that's with the uh, V32. 
So let's get this second step going with this orange pad. That was the uh, second step. Just refine the uh, clarity a little more. This is really starting to bother me, this little area right here. But some of these things are just not like the webbing and stuff. That's not going to be able to get helped. This right here is a potential that that can come out. But looking at it uh, up close, the camera, it looks like it's starting to web in this area as well. Um, I really don't think that can get helped. So we're just gonna get these things to look good as possible. Uh, I mean, like I said, this is a 2006. So these headlights are a little over 13 years old. So, I mean, for 13 year old headlights to get them back to this condition compared to what they were, including the wet sanding, they look pretty, pretty, pretty damn good in my opinion. So we're gonna do this final step. Um, this second step was done with the uh, V36. So we're gonna do this final step with the V30. I'm sorry, not the V32. I'm tripping. Um, with the V38, the final polish. And that will wrap it up for this headlight until we get the other one done. And then we're gonna ceramic coat both of them. And here we have the finished product. Well, 90% finished because we still have to ceramic coat it, but these are night and day compared to what they were. The only thing that still present are these little, if you can see it, etched things inside the lens like i said i'm pretty sure you may be able to get it um out with some some heavier wet sanding but i'm not quite sure and all the spider webbing right here you're definitely definitely not going to get that stuff out that's you're just gonna have to replace the lens but besides that for 13 year old headlights these things look like new now it's time to start on these bad boys All right, so i'm glad i showed this stuff to the owner um he asked me not to ceramic coat the headlights just because he's gonna actually replace them here in a couple months he just wanted them cleared up for now or until he gets the money to replace these headlights as he's trying to go with some custom headlights so but for now we're just gonna seal them up with the uh optico uh opti seal um from I'm sorry, not Optico, Optimum OptiSeal. It's the Optimum brand. Um, it gives it a couple months of protection. Um, so these should do just fine until he replaces these. And if he decides to sell them, then at that point, we'll try to restore them to the best that they can be. And then uh, um, ceramic coat them just so um, he can get the most money out of them. So that's what we're gonna do for now. It's really easy to apply. You spray it on there and you wipe it off. That's as simple as it gets. So we're gonna do that to these headlights and then we're gonna get started on that set right over there. All right, so here's the finished product. I know with the new light, you can definitely see the uh, imperfections I was talking about, but come to find out, looking at this light, what I thought was on the surface is actually, some of it is on the inside, especially over here. So where that comes from is um, when your headlights get fogged up or they have a leak, um, if that leak gets trapped inside, they, they haze up um, from the condensation and whatnot, but over time the condensation does disappear, but it leaves watermarks and it starts to haze up your headlights. So some of that stuff is on the inside, but um, a lot of that stuff is also on the outside, but you cannot get this stuff off. I don't know if y'all can see it. I showed it to y'all earlier, but you cannot get that stuff off unless you really go heavy with the um, wet sanding. But, that's his headlights. 
Uh, he mainly wanted to focus on the oxidation that they had, and they look. Yeah, they look way better than. <laughs> yeah. Way, way better. I mean, you got to understand it's an 06. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 13 year old headlights. Yeah. So, I mean, for what they are, even though he's going to replace them here probably in the next couple months, from for for what they were, I mean, they definitely night and day. So, yeah, definitely. we're going to get these things put back on the car. They are sealed up with the uh, Optimum Opti seal. So, they should definitely yeah, last so. him. Yeah. They should definitely last him until he gets his new set of headlights. I wish I was able to restore them like completely, completely like clear like I used to. I don't to. think there was, that's inside. I don't think there's anything you could have done with that. That's inside. Yeah. I mean, I could take them apart and then, that's you know, but that's, yeah, I ain't trying to do <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna replace them. Yeah. You know, if you decide not to replace them, then we'll go ahead and uh, crack them open and get them restored the best we can but like this little um webbing what i'm gonna call it spider webbing i don't know what it's called but uh the correct term for it but can't get that stuff out even if we open them up so but they look better Definitely. than what they did before so we're gonna get these things mounted back on the truck he's a king you approve you approve Ah, he winked at me, so that means he approves. <laughs> I swear, every time I look at Cersei, I'll just have to take a moment of silence. Because she is just so sexy. Look at that. Look at that. Can't argue that front end, man. Can't argue that. Anyways, here we go. Putting these things back on. Look how easy it is to put these things on, man. Like all these newer cars nowadays, you gotta take off the front bumper and all that stuff. So I wish I would've got a before shot of what these things look like, but this looks way better <laughs> than what they were. Way better. Happy with it, that's all that matters. Cause me, I like perfection and this little haze right here. I get it, but you know me, I, I, I still try. Try again. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, so real quick, he got this vehicle for $800, yo. $800, and this thing has been a road king. Like, no issues with this thing whatsoever. You can't beat a car like that for eight hundred dollars with no issues. And this needs to be cleaned up. I but, mean, that's I mean, cleaned up but is I mean, nothing. As far as but like engine wise, this has been solid. Like, yeah. I haven't had any problems whatsoever. And it's not like it has a lot of body damage or anything like that. It's just no, no body damage. For, I mean, it needs to be painted, cleaned up. The interior's clean. This thing for eight hundred bucks, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Look at that. $800 for 800 bucks. How long have I had it? Almost a year now? Yeah. 800 bucks and that's what he got. See, that's what I need to, I need to find somebody that'll sell me a car for 800 bucks that's in this type of condition. So I can leave Cersei for my weekend uh, That's what I'm gonna do when I buy me a charger. Uh-huh. A new, uh, you know, the new charger. I wish I could say that. that's my daily driver right now. So, oh yeah, this thing. Oh yeah. See, that's what I need. I need me a beater. That's what I need. Am I really gonna get a beater or not as my second whip? I don't know, cause I got a year left to pay this one off. Yep, I only have a year left, and she will be paid off completely. And I got this one in 2014. It's a 2013 and I bought it in 2014. And it only had, it was practically brand new. Um, it only had 6,000 miles on it when I bought it. So, but yeah, $800, this right here. You can't beat it. All right, you two. So y'all saw the restoration of the headlights. Um, like I said, this was a 2006 Chevy Trailblazer. The headlights were severely oxidized. They have minor imperfections. I ain't, well, I ain't gonna say minor. They have some imperfections in them, 
but the condition they are in now is the best I can get them in on, without, you know, truly going into a heavy wet sand. And he just wasn't trying to, trying to have me go through all that, especially since he's gonna replace them here in a couple months. Anyways, uh, he just wanted those cleared up just because at night they were definitely not giving him the output that he needed um, during night driving. So. Um, he's happy with it, so as long as he's happy, I'm happy. Uh, I'm somewhat a little, eh, it's not to my standard because I've done headlight restorations in the past that definitely were uh, a night and day. See, see, he, like I said, he's happy, I'm happy. That's all that matters. So, but anyways, I've done headlight restorations in the past that made a tremendous difference. And I'm talking about, they looked like they were brand new. So... With this situation here, I mean, like I said, he's replacing them, so they're gonna be new and they're probably gonna go in the garbage anyway. So he's probably not even gonna sell them because he probably wouldn't even get anything for them. So, but anyways, that's gonna wrap it up from today's video. If y'all like the video, make sure y'all smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uh, exclusive content in the future. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have a good day.